quiet. Wow. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I went with my sister to church, you know, and uh, and I remember, you know, but first I knew about his voice, you know. He was asking for Dr. Bernal, you know, and I told my sister, I love that voice. <laughs> I just love the radio. And he says, she says, maybe you want to marry an American? I said, no way. You know, I mean, I had to go <laughs> and <be> wrong. <laughs> I was serious. <laughs> and even I, when I was getting married, you know, my friend, you really want to marry Do you know that you have to do everything that you get? I said, yes. And then what? Well, you know, I, then some my, two of my friends came and said, where do you play canasta? Because, you know, at that time it was canasta, it was the thing. And I said, all day long, canasta, the diapers, you know, basket of diapers. Mm -hmm. Canasta is a card game. Yes. Canasta is a very right. well-known card yes. game in yes. America. And I said, all day long, because I have, you know, three diapers. And, three can uh, you know, canastas, baskets full of mm -hmm. uh, laundry. Well, I said, all day long, I I play canastas of diapers. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's how, and after I, you know, I met him, and the funny thing I remember, I came to church, you know, and he was reading something, and then he just kind of, <laughs> you know, saw me, you know, and then he <laughs> went time. by to the, uh, you know, the book, the music book. And, you know, that way, and then he invited me to one of the, uh, Mardi Gras ball that his father, you know, and all his family belonged, but he knew that uh, in Mexico, I mean, I always went with chaperone. Mm -hmm. Everywhere, you know. So uh, Bill called my brother and I said, you know, my mother and father are gone and we pick her up and blah, blah, blah. And, and Miguel says, sure, that's fine, you know. And I was nervous because I didn't speak. Oh, the only thing that I I knew it was oh thank you oh great how oh, wonderful. <laughs> 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 so no matter what he said, he would have gotten a good result. <laughs> 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 one, you know, one boy that you know, he was kind of that was a real uh, Father Cali was very interesting that he was a great guy you know he didn't know building and uh, so he was talking to me and he says well you know and. Uh, and I went to New York, I said, mm, that's good. But then, you know, my father died. But wonderful. <laughs> kind of look at me. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, is she crazy? <laughs> so I asked Miguel, you know, what is it? <coughs> so does his father die? Oh, my God. <laughs> so after I told him, I'm so sorry, you know, I, I don't want you know. And also, I guess in Mexico, they do the same thing uh, with Americans, you know. They told me, uh, did you speak English? No. Why ask me? Did you speak Spanish? Un poquito. Oh, I said, blah, 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 blah. un poquito. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then with me, you know, I said, do you speak English? I said, no, no. no. And they start, and of course, you know, I didn't understand. They start talking loud, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, when you go here <laughs> and then, I mean, Hear. I just. <laughs> I wish Scarlett were here. Mm -hmm. But because I mean, you know. Scarlett came here when she was 15 and uh, didn't speak any English. Uh huh. And so I'm sure she would very much relate to, to I what know. you're saying. She said she listened to Madonna to learn English. Uh, really? She said all she did was listen to Madonna. Well, I had the TV uh, all day, you know, when I was doing so. In the first month, you know, I fixed, like, every day I fixed a different pie for my husband. You know, but I you married my dad. My my father's parents both died pretty young, and my mm -hmm. dad was the oldest, except for his older brother had had just he died, died in me. World War Two, and yes. the sister had gone to the nun convent. Uh -huh. Convent, and his two or three youngest brothers were still living in the house. So she's married, and she's got teenage and he asked, boys living in the mother, house. I asked mm -hmm. him, you know, I said, you know, I know the only one who will do this and will stay with the kids, you know, uh, would be Anna. Do you think she will do it? Of course, you know, what could I say? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 
Yes, wonderful. So, <laughs> Thank so you. So we have you know, Richard, Jerry, Davey, and Ruth. What? I was I was no living, friends. you know, just married and living with five men. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. And I, you know, cook and, you know, and, and they love it, you know, but I cook every, I mean, I love to cook, but I knew really kind of fancy things, French things, you know, mm -hmm. that my father loved it, anyway. But I mean, the every day, no, because, you know, we had to cook. In her home in Mexico, they had, they weren't rich, but it was no. nothing to have servants to clean the house and One cook. for the uh, room, for, you know, bedrooms, and another for the, la for the laundry. Mm. Well, I like that. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Well, you know, my you niece, they you work wealthy, whatever you they have. come, the, clean, the house is clean, the That's dinner is wonderful. ready, you know. It's so nice. <laughs> when I go there, I still, you know, want to get up, you know, and they yeah, they call me Nana then, you know. Nana. What are you doing? I said, well, I, no, remember? No, you're on vacation and you're not doing one thing. I said, well, okay, you know. <laughs> it's nice, you know, it's really mm -hmm. nice. But that's what, you know, I just didn't you know how to cook all the scenarios. And Richard really helped me, you know. She's, uh, Richard's the one who just recently passed away. Teach me how to, you know, make like meatballs and spaghetti, mm -hmm. and uh, well, a lot of things, you know. And also, I made a lot of the different things that I cook, you know, like uh, chicken pie, and you know, with corn and uh, the chile verdes. Uh huh. And cream. I mean, it's delicious. Mm. I made my own. Uh, we cute. just ate lunch, and I'm still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I made my own pastry, you know. And um, fantastic. Stuff. And I love it. I still remember. But it was so funny, you know. After when Jerry got married, and everything, was uh, we went to visit them uh, in Dallas, and Nora. We're talking with Nora. You know, she was kind of. Was she says, well, I had to tell you, Anna. I really hate you. <laughs> and I said, what? Because Jerry always says, well, Anna did this. <laughs> and I said, well, I can understand. You know, I'm not even the mother-in-law. And for him to tell, you know, mm -hmm. Robert used to call me. Anna, when you pack, the thing, did you pack Bill's suitcase? And they, they said, I don't know, what? Because I wanted to know, so I can tell Nancy as a proof. Then Joanne, Anna, tell Richard. I mean, Joanne, no. I mean, anything you said, he said, that's the right way. That's pretty you good. Know, so I cannot say that, you know. That, but it was funny, you know, how. And they she was kind of like a surrogate mother to those men. uncles. I was going to say, uh, she was like a mom. Daughter, the sister-in-law, the children were mad that, you mm -hmm. know, the boys wanted to do like I did or something right. like that, you know, right? Because yeah. you took such good care of them. That's <laughs> right. You spoiled them. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it was, you know, it, it was kind of hard, really. Because, you know, uh, living with, you know, men, so, you know, 14, 15, you know, Seven, well, 17 or 18, that was Jerry, and the older was the Richard. Somebody see you. Is that Ashley? Probably. Hello. Hello. Come, Come on, on back. In. Come on back. Well, little detail, her sister was married to a very famous composer in Mexico. In fact, when the Andrea Doria sank, there was a front page news in the New York Times, all over the world, in Mexico City, his death was the headline. The Andrea Doria was the second story. Oh, and he's that was, yeah. Hey, stranger. How you doing? All right, let me uh, pause this.